Hello, misfits. Some of you caught me at the Great Escape, and some of you didn't. So here's what my day looked like if you weren't there. So I did four days of rehearsals prior to The Great Escape, of which I also lost my voice on the day of The Great Escape, which was the best thing that could have possibly happened to me. But the rehearsals were incredible. I mean, it was so nice to finally get the entire band together and run through all the music. I loved every second of it, including losing my voice on the day of The Great Escape. Once again, gonna reiterate that, absolute worst moment. But it was so much fun, we ordered food. It was just four days of chilling out, getting the songs done, and obviously I have amazing sound techs, an amazing bass guitarist, an amazing drummer, an amazing guitarist, and of course, an amazing MD. Shout out to Andy with his amazing dance moves. And then we move on to the day of The Great Escape, which for me was incredibly nerve wracking because The Great Escape was the first gig that I have done festival wise. I have actually never been to a festival. So to go to a festival for the first time and it be performing was absolutely terrifying. So we started off in the morning. I had my makeup done at about half eight in the morning of which I was still tired, but my makeup artists are incredible and it was slay. And then obviously had the outfit, had the fun pictures, did a couple of interviews, did one with Enemy. It was really fun. <laughs> and then obviously I went to do an interview for Amazon, which was really fun. We did a What's in My Bag. Uh, there was nothing weird in there, luckily. Well, there wouldn't be anything weird in there anyways. But, you know, it was fun. <laughs> And then obviously we took a little bit of a walk around the Great Escape, especially on the beach. You know, it's, it, there was a lot of food stands, ate a ginormous cone of chips, which was quite embarrassing because I finished the entire lot, which was meant for a sharing of about four people. Um, but that's just me. And then obviously after all this procrastination and chip eating and walking around, I was going on to perform. Now, obviously a few minutes before I'm walking on stage, I'm panicking, I'm having my moment. And then I just switched off for a second and thought, right, I really need to do this. And then I ran on stage and I screamed because I did not know what else to do. It was so much fun. I think the nerves kind of wore off within a couple of minutes and the crowd for the first stage was incredible. Everyone was so accommodating and I'm, I'm hoping everyone loved the performance. I had to leg it across Brighton to go to Patton's to do another performance with my guitarist, Rue. And that for me was the most comfortable because it was, you know, very intimate to have the audience right in front of me and I just had guitar. It was so comforting to know that the audience were there to support everything. And it was just one of those really surreal moments. And my voice came back because I lost it on the day of the great escape. Still reiterating that. But other than that, for me, it was the best way to start off festival season and I can't thank The Great Escape enough for having me. Everyone was incredible and to meet, you know, people that have followed me since the beginning and to meet fans, it was genuinely one of those days I won't forget for the rest of my life. So thank you, Great Escape. Love you.